Jesus said it's better for you to lose a limb than to lose your whole soul in hell. And I've been shown that you can actually lose a piece of your soul in traumatic events, abuse, or blatant sin of witchcraft. You can lose a piece of your soul. And um, when you do that, you're no longer operating with, with your full conscience. And that's one thing I've learned, we've learned about dealing with the occult people who have taken oaths and committed to witchcraft. Of course, it says in Deuteronomy 18 that we are not to do that. We are not to be monthly prognosticators, oath takers, omens, anything to do with witchcraft or the occult. Anytime they get power, you know, it's when they break the commandments of God, the laws of God. That's how they get their power. It's highly forbidden in the word of God. And when you do it, you lose your soul. And so we know that they're operating in Satan's will only so we don't get mad. There's no reason to get mad when people are unconscious. It's not them anymore. You know, it's a demonic thing. It's a demonic presence operating ex exclusively, exclusively for Satan's power. And so what do we do? Well, we outclass it and we get the person back to Jesus as much as we can and what I like to do is the Yud is, the, um, is number 10. It's the smallest of all the Hebrew letters. It's a contraction. It's the first point of the pen on the pad. So I will write the person's name with a period. And Holy Ghost has show, show me to put the pen right next to the period. And it's a contraction when you do that throughout the word, the world, I should say. Write the person's name who's lost their soul in something. And it's called a yud, which means contraction in Hebrew. It's a, the Hebrew letter yud. And then you will create a new cycle because you're going to vanquish that soul that's been left for dead of its hierarchy of demons for a moment. And the speck's going to come out of their eye and they're going to have rays of light going into their eyes so they can see what's been going on. And ask God to deliver them then. And then you take your your piece of paper and you put it in a secret place so God can take it over for you. And that's how I combat the occult and witchcraft. And then if I'm listening to the word of God, like I was today a lot, I listened to the gospel of Matthew and the gospel of John, then I can just fulfill the promises with the Lord by praying directly um, without writing it down. I just pray directly to him. He showed me the Yud. And um, I learned that also from a Hebrew rabbi. Teaching Hebrew, I should say. All right, well, God bless you. I pray that these words are so affecting you today for wise contradictions of the evil one. God bless you.